Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to a new video on Pepe. Uh, had to make a video on that. Super bullish. I um, Yeah, I actually wanted to buy Pepe, but in the end, I did not do it. I'll tell you why I wanted to buy it and why hopefully some of you bought it. Uh, I, th I think some of you saw this as well and uh, and bought in. I, I should have 100% done, done that, but I but I didn't. And now I'm making a, a video on that while not having bought. All right. But obviously we need to talk about some things because Pepper right now has uh, reached the previous high. It uh, reached the 9th of November. Major resistance level right here between 14,500 and 15,000. Um, uh, it, it brings me back to the days that that was the main support. And every time that Pepe held that level, it got up to 17,500 and 18,000. So yes, there's a possibility it will get up there again. But that's what we'll talk about, all right? We'll talk about whether that, that is to be expected or not. And Pepe right now, I mean, this bullish momentum, it's uh, it's it, the, the, the reason why is really a mix of a lot of different things, all right? I mean, first of all, if you look at the technicals, and this is why I wanted to initially buy, if I can find this, yeah, why I wanted to initially buy Pepe uh, is because of this, all right? You can see that there was some sort of bearish uh, trend going on right here. Uh, which was broken on Saturday. So Saturday already the bearish momentum was broken. So then after that was broken, you could you, you could at least take a trade up to the top of the range right here at uh, 12,500 and 13,000. That would have been a good trade. Uh, but what happened is that especially, and, and that was one of the main reasons for Pepe, sometimes it just is very, very bullish when Bitcoin becomes bullish. And Bitcoin became super bullish overnight. All right, so I'm not sure why Pepe sometimes reacts that bullish to that, uh, but that is the main reason. Perhaps there's some manipulation going on. That's o that's always a possibility. I mean, there's a lot of volume right now coming from some uh, some shady exchanges, but that's life. That is crypto. All right, so Pepe right now super bullish. So the big question is, after reviewing what happened and talking about what happened, will Pepe also be able to break through that level? Uh, the open interest the last time uh, Pepe tried it, so that was the 9th of uh, November. The open interest then was around $132 million with a volume of about almost $2 billion. Right now, so re remember those numbers. I, I should remember those numbers. <laughs> so right now you can see that the volume is not there yet and the open interest is also not there yet. Uh, it, it spiked up there once. But now it has actually decreased a little bit. So whether Pepe is going to be able to break above that level or not depends on this. All right. It depends on this. It depends on the momentum, which is this uh, and Bitcoin. All right. Because I would say Bitcoin needs to at least rally up to uh, 42,700 for a breakout like this to 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 occur. And um, I got to be honest, at this moment, it actually looks a little bit more likely that Pepe will fall down here. All right. I mean, obviously, see, the moment Pepe breaks above 14,750, I was wrong and it will rally up higher, up towards 16,500 and then 17,500. So this is definitely a possibility. It's realistic. It is. Yeah, it's a possibility. It's just not the most likely scenario. All right. The, the most likely scenario in my eyes, given the fact that I do expect some resistance from Bitcoin. All right. I, I just do. And we know that the correlation between Bitcoin and Pepe is over 0.9, which is a lot. I think it's a bit more likely that Pepe will drop down here. All right. So um, that it will drop down. Let me quickly grab a fib here. That it will drop down towards the previous support levels. So that, uh, that's the, the, the levels between 13,500 and 13,000. Uh, if it's able to hold that and Bitcoin starts rallying again, it will still break above this level later. All right. And something like that at this moment does seem most likely. Uh, but I'll keep you updated on that. All right. Because initially I do expect a pullback from here. And if that pullback continues lower and lower, then this might just be the top. And Pepe might fall back down towards 11,500, 11,000. And, uh, and then this was it. So I'll keep you updated on that. That's what I expect short term. Uh, if you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Have a great week in advance and I'll see you all in my next videos. Bye.